Llamas and alpacas, welcome to Live Today. X. I am Livy, and today we are doing another top 10 reasons why we like a certain somebody. And this time, it is Will Ryan. And again, I am not alone. Hello, Nico Nation. My name is Nicola, and the duo is back. But not with the white vines. We are back, as Livy said. With another top 10. That is right, and this time it is Will Ryan from DA Games, and as you all know, me and DA Games has a tight connection, and they are the first major YouTuber that I've actually collabed with. And don't go searching for it on YouTube because you will not find it because it was on a stream. I normal, I guess you can go first. Alright, I'll go first. At number 10, I have that he is very a giving man because he gives a lot to charity and I even seen he he gives little gifts to like to like other members of DA games and I, even a fan that I talked to I'm not gonna use names but she said that he gave her an alpaca no joke he needs to give me an alpaca <laughs> you have too many of them I never you have too many <laughs> I never have too many <laughs> I never have too many alpacas, no. And, and he even once gave a hundred dollars in the Five Nights at St. Jude's charity stream. I don't have that money just to give away. So that's very Not generous. Not yet. <laughs> so yeah, that is a very generous amount because like, if I just have a hundred dollars laying around, like, where do you get all this money? But the, also, that's none of my business. <laughs> okay, my number two, well, number two. Number nine. See, I always do this. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I kept telling myself earlier, I have odd numbers, remember this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, with my number nine, he gives a no shit. <laughs> he literally go. He will go on a rant, and he will not care what any. But sure, he'll care about what people think. He'll take people's opinion into consideration. But when he made Heart of an Artist, when he's ranted on Twitter, when he called out, it's probably deleted now. But when he called out the Five Nights of Freddy uh, fan base. The cancerous part. He called them out. When he, like, you know, he gives no shits pretty much. Especially when he did Heart of an Artist. And I've been told that Heart of an Artist has many, many, um, meanings to it. Uh huh. It is a good song. It is a really good song. Okay. Oh, so the no, no. I, I didn't know it was not going to do that. Well, okay then. Okay then. And number eight, I have that he has a good sense of humor, like he likes to joke around, like as you see in the uh, videos when we're at cons, he likes to play around, joke around, it's like, knows what to do to make us laugh. He abused your voice, uh, voice alpaca, wasn't it? What? Didn't he like abuse the uh, voice alpaca that you had? Oh my god, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the um... Snowball up. I, yeah. Unfortunately, I did not record that, but he did make it say stuff. Of <laughs> course, <Poor> Snowball. <laughs> um. Next number. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's a demon child. <laughs> number seven. Okay, number seven. He speaks from his heart again, going from uh, the giving no shit. Uh, mm -hmm. He will say whatever is on his mind, whether it's good, whether it's bad. He likes taking criticism. He will take he will take constructive criticism. And another thing I forgot to mention when he did the Yandere uh, the Yandere Simulator live stream, so many people did not like what he had to say, mm -hmm. and he thought that uh, Yandere that was going to go hell for leather on him, but. Like, yeah. People need to respect that other people have an opinion. And exactly. That's what Will does. He speaks from the heart, and again, he accepts other people's opinion. Not everyone's gonna like the same game. Exactly. Like he said. Exactly. Like there are some games that I really don't care for, and 
but other people would like it. And it's the same with TV shows, too. Like, there's some yeah. TV shows that everybody likes, but there's some that I cannot stand and don't understand why everybody likes them. Yeah. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I never watched that, so I have no yeah, idea. Right. I think I just triggered a lot of people with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I never watched it, so I cannot say anything yeah, no, about I've never it. Seen it. Okay, so at number six, we have he has a he is a good voice actor. Like he could do a whole bunch of impressions of different cartoon characters, and he also likes to make funny voices. It's a lot of fun. I have a question for you. What's uh, your favorite uh, voice that he has done? My favorite voice that he has done. Um. Yeah. I. I never really thought about that, but I think it was funny when he tried to do Funtime Freddy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, I was laughing so hard that I was crying and I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Probably mine uh, when he was playing uh, the Halloween update of FNAF World and uh, he, uh, he uh, did the uh, Rolf impression when he's doing the uh, coffee pot voice. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Five, I believe? Yes, you are correct. Okay, number five. This one is a bit personal, but uh, he's a great... Uh, we don't see it, but you can assume that he's a great father. Because oh, yes! Know, uh, if you know Will, uh, his fiance is Chloe. Yes. And they have a uh, daughter who I, I'm not naming because, one, I don't know the name. And I don't think he's ever really shared. But yeah, I, I think it's like Jessica or something. It might be, I don't know. Yeah, and, and I know it's not with Chloe. It's with his ex. Oh. Uh, yes. I did not know that. Yes, it was with his ex. Oh. Oh. But yeah, he's a he's a great father. I mean, again, I'm assuming this, but I mean, he looks like he... I mean, clearly he doesn't look like the guy that would show neglect. Because I think even with being in his Discord servers, I've actually like... No, yeah, I was in his Discord server once, and I could hear her talking in the background, and you could just tell that Aww. he would, he, um, he just loves her so much, even though, again, it's from his ex, it's like, that doesn't mean anything, he's a good yes. father, Yes, and I... he, he's a great person. <laughs> yes, and I believe that he's still friends with his ex, but, um, uh, huh. they're just not together like I, I that's what i believe i might be wrong but but i believe like he's still like friends with her but he's right. not in love with her anymore right right okay so we have at num at number four he is a great musician like a lot of times like a lot of his subscribers like even some of them admit it that that they subscribe to him for his music and he writes the songs and and he also plays guitar too. And um, and if all of the uh, DA game songs, that's my favorite. I think mine has to be either between "Marching Onward to Your Nightmare" or "Get Out." Get Out was pretty damn good. Yes. Honestly, so, the animation kind of reminds me of uh, Monsters Inc. with all the doors. Oh yes, yes. I never thought about that until you said that. Uh, I guess my favorite song. I mean, sure you can say that um, his FNAF songs are amazing. You can say all of that. You can say he he, he does good songs. This actually wasn't on my uh, list, but I kind of want to carry on to it. Not only does he do songs, but he does do games, and I've touched base on this on every single um, why you should check out uh, a DA Games video I've done. Uh -huh. But not only does he do uh, song, I mean, it's in the name, DA Games. They yes. do a lot of games. Yes, they do are, do gameplays. Very good with a lot, a lot of funny edits. Oh yes, I remember the first Let's Play that I watched of his was uh, One Night at Plumpty's. Uh, my was number three, I believe. That is number three. You are correct, sir. Okay, I have this in caps. He loves his monster. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, even that. Um, cannot, 
separate Will from his monster. Exactly. Like, like, um, I did not record this, but, but, um, someone else did, and, um, it is on their channel, not, not my channel, that, that Will was holding up his monster, like, yes, like it's a trophy. <laughs> and then he made the edit when he started, um, playing Five Nights at Sister location, Five Nights at Freddy's Sister location. Uh huh. When, uh, he had, uh, when he was like, pretending that baby took his most valuable possession of his <laughs> monster. Aww. <laughs> and one thing, um, I was originally thinking about um, doing for too many games, but I decided not to because um, it's gonna take too much work and, and with the weather and stuff like that. It's, I was about to make cupcakes with monster in it. Mm. And, uh, but also, I don't know how the cupcakes would be like in a hot car. <laughs> and uh, and carrying them around in the convention, like not uh, not gonna work out very well. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, especially since I want to make D A in chocolate. The chocolate will <laughs> melt. It will yeah. definitely melt, and so would the icing. Yeah. Cause too many games is in the summer. Find the number two. I'm gonna be. I Yes, number oh, two. Yeah. Number two, he is supported to everyone. And when I mean everybody, I mean like his family members, his friends, his fans, and his fellow YouTubers. Even though they did, uh, I know this is, it was a touchy subject, I don't know if it still is. Even uh -huh. though they did drop uh, Bogsy, it was Bogsy, right? I, I think it was, yeah. I uh, didn't hear about that, but okay. Oh, no, yeah, they yeah, when they dropped that Bogsy, uh, Will even did a video about this. I I'm pretty sure it was Bogsy. I might have to double check on that. I'll fix it uh, in editing it. It wasn't Bogsy, I don't know. But, um, yeah, when they uh, dropped Bogsy, Will uh, gave it some time, uh, but he did make a video about it and saying that they still talk and they still get along even though Bogsy is no longer part of a DA game. Uh huh. Oh, wait, I did hear about that. I did hear about yeah. that. It was Bogsy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Bogsy. Okay. Bogsy the... No, was it Bogsy the Plant or Sean the Plant? I can't remember. It was Sean the Plant. Yeah, Sean the Plant and, uh... Bogsy's, uh... Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> yes, and, um... And as... And, uh, when I started YouTube, like, they... They were really helpful with uh, me starting YouTube. You probably did not know this, but if you saw the stream that I was with them, like, they invited me over to the stream. I didn't even ask for it. And, um, and, um, and then they became super supportive to me, and, and they let me hang out with them in too many games. And it was, like, the most awesome thing ever. Okay. It's still- Okay, I thought the, uh, call it dropped. Sorry. No, uh, it's okay. Okay, so... On the number one. Number one! Which is, which is something that we've been touching base pretty much on the entire time. He's a very- See, I ran out of ideas, so I just went with him. He's a very friendly person. He gets along with pretty much anyone. Because, again, I don't know how many times I've said this. He will take, he will accept pretty much anyone's opinion, whether it's stupid or not. I mean, it's an opinion really stupid, but it's, like, it's one person's opinion, so I guess not. But he will accept anyone's advice, whether it's good or bad. And if it's bad, then he'll correct them on it. He, he's not one that's like, if someone says, hey, your song's, uh, I mean, yes, he's very sassy, I will admit that, so, mm -hmm. I guess, friendly, but yet sassy. Exactly, that, that is actually a perfect way to describe Will. Yeah. Friendly and sassy, because I've seen uh, some of his tweets where uh, he'll uh, screenshot a comment that he's gotten, and then his reply, uh -huh. and the reply is usually pretty sassy, <laughs> or savage, I the hip kids say nowadays. Uh, <laughs> yes. 
So that. Yeah, yeah, he's hip with the kids. <laughs> so that was our top ten things why why you should love Will Ryan. Please tell us in the comment section below what you like about Will Ryan. And if it's his green hair, then good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hey! You never know. Yeah. People like green hair. <laughs> uh, okay. And if you wanna if you're watching this on my channel, if you wanna subscribe to Nakoda, he does wacky videos and lots of vlogs and and he's been doing live streams and stuff at the mall and all yeah. that. <laughs> but, and if it's continue. <laughs> yeah, so go check him out. Like, he's basically close to 200 subscribers, actually. Yeah, I just got to uh, 150, and I just made my 150 subscriber video, which uh -huh. I uploaded, which I had to delete because I deleted. I, I uploaded the unedited version. Uh, so I gotta do that after all of this, so, yeah. Okay. But yeah, uh, if you're on my side, uh, on my channel, go check out Livy. I mean, you know, she she really needs the subs, you guys. Like, you don't know how bad. Like, Black Eye Chet, she was like a 10 sub. She really needs it. Nah. Go check out Livy. She's uh, almost to 2K by now, I think. Yeah. Let's get her to her goal of 2K before that. Uh, um, uh, I'd say before the summer, maybe. That'll be cool. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. But this was Livy and Nakoda, and this has been the top 10 reasons why to love Will Ryan, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out.